As I say, I think it was a it was a it was a dream, or maybe it was a dram too much, you know. Possibly a combination of both, you know. But, uh, I think it's good for Falkirk and it's good for uh, the community here to have their own distillery. And the amount of support we've been getting from the council and everybody, it's been unbelievable. Uh, I don't know what it is with whiskey, but everybody would like to be associated it with it one, one way or another. So I think we've done quite a good job. We've done a traditional uh, distillery looking. The Caper Donald stills are about 40 year old and they, uh, there was four of them in the building when we first saw it up at Rothes. And they, uh, they were taken out along with Mashtan. The uh, other two, the sister ones, they're actually in Belgium making beer they now. Uh, and you can see the shape of them, very, very traditional, the onion shape, that's the spirit one. Uh, it'll be quite a unique whisky, the copper mash tun, that can do a four and a half uh, tonne of uh, malt, malt when we're ready. And a good year if we were to want, want to do a triple, uh, sorry, a triple shift, we could possibly make about 1.5 million litres of whisky. It's, as I say, it's maybe not making, it's the storing it and also the route to market. But anyway, so we've got two two boreholes where we can extract up to 25,000 litres a day free of charge, which is pure, pure water, which has all been uh, tested, by the way. It was all tested, but as soon as we've done the, the boreholes and the, uh, they're on 248 feet in the ground, you know. So one of the good advantages is being able to extract this mineral water. It's very similar to the water like Highland Spring because that's what they've done, they've bored down and they've got an artesian well along with us, you know. So that should be really good for the whisky. Uh, no fluoride, no uh, contaminants, uh, as they say in the, the uh, town water. And even though it's a new distillery, we've got quite a bit of heritage and also, as you can see from the, uh, the spirit safe, that came from Diageo, you can see the uh, the way it's made, it's nice and rounded, not like all the new spirit saves and the new distilleries, which everything's very sharp. So we've got a bit of tradition with that, and we're trying to keep as much tradition of the distillery, old world, uh, it's what we can. Once we get the distillery running, we'll get on to the, uh, the uh, restaurant. So basically and we've built quite a nice big bond traditionally, done it with brick, we've done it with the brick rather than cladding the walls and that and also a viewing area inside and uh, I think it'll be quite good for the visitors. Well this is very much one of the it's a new distillery with visitors in mind because of the lifts and the walkways and things like that, not like the old traditional distilleries which really never catered for tourists. So only in the last maybe 10 years they've started catering for tourists. And I remember uh, being up at Rothes and I was in at Glen Grant where the the, the sister of uh, the distillery was at Cape Ordono. And the young lady in there says to me, you know George, we've got about 21 distilleries here in a radius of 25 miles and we're all fighting, fighting for visitors. You're down there in the central belt where most of the population is. You're near. You're on the motorway, just off the motorway near Edinburgh, 15 miles from Edinburgh. I think you'll get a tremendous amount of visitors. When we first done our projections, it was 10,000. But the wheel and also the Kelpies, they're attracting 420,000 people a year. So I think we'll do very well from uh, the uh, visitors we get. But, uh, five year at... Uh, We'll be well established by that time, and by the time I'm finished, if I'm still here, uh, uh, this will be one of the most attractive distilleries in the whole of Scotland because I'm running it as a personal family thing with all the Nietzsche's and, and things like that. In other words, put a wee bit more personalised into the distillery, which separates it from the big boys which are running a commercial line and doing very well they are, of course, but we're looking to to have a wow-wow factor if we can, to make it a, a really nice experience. So we'll wait and see.